Hey guys, it's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. I'm going to be taking you step by step and showing you how I achieve this sort of glowy, natural, fresh, summery makeup look. It's really easy and simple, but it's what I do on a daily basis. You guys have been asking for more makeup tutorials, so I'm giving them to you. But I'm just going to stop talking now, and if you want to see how I do my everyday makeup, then just keep watching. Okay, so the only thing I have on my face right now is moisturizer, and we're going to start off with my Too Faced Hangover Primer. I love this stuff. It's so refreshing, and it adds just another layer of moisture, so I'm just going to put that on my fingers and apply that around my face. I really like to prime my face well so that my makeup lasts all day, so on top of that hydrating primer, I'm putting this primer, which is a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. If you haven't experienced the magic of the Smashbox primers, you guys haven't lived yet because this stuff is amazing. It fills in all your pores and it just blurs out any skin texture that you might have. Okay, so my skin is now prepped and ready to go for foundation. So normally on an everyday basis, I would wear my EX1 Invisawear foundation. This is my all-time favorite foundation. But today I thought we would try out something new and I have the new L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow foundation. So I've been hearing a lot about these. I've heard that it has a very glowy finish, so maybe it's gonna be very similar to this. I'm just gonna test this out. I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand. Whoa. First impressions, it's very watery. I'm gonna be using my good old Real Techniques buffing brush to blend this into my skin. Okay, so I think that's a pretty good color match if I do say so myself. By the way, this was 204 Natural Buff, if you're wondering. Um, I really do like the finish of this foundation. It does have that glowy finish that I was talking about earlier, so hopefully it'll last. Moving on to concealer, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, my baby. I have this little travel size and it's actually almost up, so hopefully we'll be able to squeeze a little bit out of there. But I like to do this under my eyes in a triangle shape and then also down my T-zone. Okay, there's like nothing in here, so we're going to have to go to my close second favorite, which is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm just gonna finish up with the under eyes, and I'm also gonna use this to spot conceal any blemishes. I don't like to go too crazy with the concealer. I'm just using the end of my beauty blender to blend this all out. To set my face, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to apply this using my Damp Beauty Blender again. And I'm taking the tiniest bit of the powder onto my sponge. And I'm just dabbing this into my oily areas. I'm not going to be doing full-on baking because this is an everyday look. And who has time to bake every single day? I don't. At this point, I like to take a break from my face and move on to my brows because it usually bothers me that my brows aren't done yet. So I'm using my, of course, my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony. This is just like, there's nothing like it. So I'm using super light strokes. I'm mostly just filling in these sparse areas. I'm not like changing the shape and making it too intense. Another thing that I like to do for my brows is put a sort of a straight line underneath the brow on the lower part of the brow here and then go upwards from there. Okay, so that's probably as good as it's gonna get for now. As every other YouTuber has said, eyebrows are sisters, not twins. I'm using the little spoolie on the other end to comb through the brow hairs. It also makes the products apply more evenly. The last thing I'm gonna do with my brows is use the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel on top of it. I'm like the Anastasia Beverly Hills spokesperson. I use like every single one of their products. So I'm gonna be combing the hairs upwards using this and then on the tail of the brow, combing downwards. So again, on the front, upwards and then on the tail downwards. I'm moving back to the face and we're just gonna finish all of it off. For an everyday kind of look, I don't like to do an intense contour or anything, so I'm just gonna be using my Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder in the shade Medium and this little, what is this? Oh, it's a crown brush contour blush brush. It's a blush brush, but I use it for contour. And I'm just literally going to be using the lightest amount just to add a tiny bit of definition in my cheekbones. I'm also bringing this down the sides of my nose and along the sides of my forehead. Now we're moving on to my favorite part of the entire look, which is bronzer. I really like to pile on the bronzer for natural summer looks because I, again, I just like looking sun-kissed and bronzy and glowy. And this bronzer is really great for that. This is the Two Hearts, Two Hearts, 
Too Faced Sweethearts Bronzer. This is the Baked Glow Luminous Bronzer, which is very accurate because as you can kind of see, there's like a shimmer to it. There's no chunky glitter or anything. It literally just has the most beautiful sheen, so it looks like you're glowing from within when you apply it. So I'm using my Luxie Duo Fiber Stippling Brush and I'm swirling it in both sides, the dark one and the light one. And I'm going to be applying this above where I place the contour. And I'm also gonna be using this on the sides of my forehead, down my neck and the sides of my nose. As you can see, the bronzer just gives like such a nice glow. I'm not even wearing highlight yet and you can still like see the glow. So I just love that bronzer so much. For blush, I'm using the Essence Mosaic Blush in the shade all you need is pink. These mosaic blushes are really great and they're really inexpensive, but since it's more sheer, it's so great for every day because you don't need to worry about like using the lightest hand. So I'm just gonna be using this on a fluffy blush brush and putting this on the apples on my cheeks and blending it backwards. Now for the star of the show, the highlight, I'm using of course the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Opal, which is stunning. Like just lightly dusting this in sort of like a C shape. Tell me that does not just make you so happy. <laughs> I'm also placing this down my nose and on my cupid's bow. The face and brows are done, which is probably what takes me the longest to do when I am getting ready. The eyeshadow look that I do on a daily basis is so simple. I'm literally using one palette, which is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Love, love, love this palette. If all of my eyeshadow palettes were like somehow destroyed, this is the first palette that I would repurchase. Before I do anything with the eyeshadow, I'm gonna be priming my eyes using this Essence two-in-one eyeshadow liner. Um, it's just like a little crayon. I'm just going to be putting this on my eyes and using my fingers to blend it out. Now let's get started on this eyeshadow. I'm dipping into this white chocolate shade, which is just like a nice nude shade, and I'm packing this onto my lids just to set and make the eyeshadows blend easier because we did use that cream shadow. For a transition blending color, we're using Salted Caramel over here, my all-time favorite shade. I'm going to be placing this on in the crease. I'm just fluffing this in like windshield wiper motions. So now I'm going to be using this shade, which is semi-sweet. It's sort of like a cooler toned, darker brown. And I'm using this Luxie 227 blending brush. And we're sort of going to be doing like a halo eyeshadow effect. So I'm going to be fluffing this on the outer third of my eye right there, as well as this inner part of my eye over here. I'm taking that same semi-sweet color and I'm using the Luxie 221 flat definer brush just to drag it along the lower lash line. Now to top off the eyeshadow look, we're going into Marzipan, which is another one of my favorite shades. It's this one right here, sort of like a shimmery champagne color. And I'm putting this literally only in the center parts of my lid. Don't go too much into the inner corner. Once that's on the center of our lids, again, just taking a little blending brush to make sure everything is all blended together. And that's pretty much it for the eyeshadow look. I know on camera it looks like it takes a lot of time for an everyday look, but I promise when I'm doing it every day in real life, it goes by so fast because I'm literally just using a bunch of fluffy blending brushes and just going at it. So it doesn't have to be extremely intense or precise. I just like doing that really blown out look. Now to finish off the eye, I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Aqua XL liner, yeah, eyeliner, and I'm just going to be tight lining my eyes using this liner. I'm wiggling this through my lashes and all along my tight line because this will make my lashes look more voluminous and full. Y'all know I love me a good liquid winged eyeliner, but actually recently for the summer, I've been steering away from that, and instead I like to do a smudged eyeliner. So I'm just gonna use the same eyeliner that we used to tight line the eyes and go a tiny bit above the lash line like the thinnest line of eyeliner and then smudge it out using a little angled liner brush. And of course, the finishing touch for the eyes is to curl my lashes and then pile on the mascara. Mascara I'm gonna be using today is the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. This stuff is the bomb, as I literally have the most straight, short Asian lashes and this makes it at least look like I have some. So I'm going to be adding multiple coats of this. The lip combo that I've been obsessed with for the summertime is these two right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. Seriously, one of the best nudie pink lip liners out there. I don't know what I would do without it. And then on top of that, I've been using this Nude Sticks Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm in the shade Luxe. This Nude Sticks Gel formula is so good. It has a really nice glossy finish, but it feels like a lip balm, but then it stays on like a lipstick. And there we go, that's my lip combo for the summer. 
I love it so much. So finally, we're at the very, very last step, which is to set everything. Of course, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and I'm just going to be dousing my face in this because I want it to last. Okay, guys, so that's everything for my everyday makeup routine. It's pretty much all I do on a daily basis. I just really like the whole natural, fresh, and glowy look. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more makeup tutorials or more videos, hit that subscribe button down below. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So I will talk to you in my next video. Bye, guys.